Welcome back. We're still discussing um, 5G and the myths surrounding it. So remember, you can join the conversation. Tweet at us at Plus TV Africa or at Ways Show Africa 1 with the hashtag Ways. Or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 8038463. Okay, now, are you trying to take away my job? Because um, part of the fear of um, the 5G, because of the, the smoothness of network and all of that, people are saying that, even with this lockdown, in fact, Sanzi and I were having a conversation before the show mm -hmm. that some companies have realized that I truly don't need 500 staff. You know, we can actually do some things, you know, remotely. I can do so. Would this not bring about losses of jobs for people and, you know, people now considering replacing human beings for robots and all of that? Those are the fears and they are genuine fears, I think. Okay. <laughs> when we moved from riding horses to using cars it was the same thing who will make the saddles what about the people fixing the horseshoe mm -hmm. they will lose their jobs Absolutely. they did lose their jobs because horsing became horse racing became just a sport, a sport yeah. and it became a big sport you know but I don't think you can ride a horse today and you see move around but what happened we now had people who need to fix cars people who need to service the cars somebody will fix those robots Somebody will program them. Somebody will build them. Mm -hmm. It's a whole new world. The jobs of the future will be different from the jobs of today because it will be a new future. You won't need um, some type of jobs because there will be robotic jobs, but the kind of education and curriculum will also change. So with automobiles, I'm using something everybody can relate with. Mm. With automobiles, things changed. If you bring trains to Nigeria today, lorries will reduce on the road, Absolutely. but then engineers mm -hmm. who will fix the rail and all that will increase. So you won't have- and train operators yes. and all of that. So conductors, everything around that ecosystem will come. There's an ecosystem that's much more valuable that we need to be part of. It's a digital economy. If, look at what happened to music. Communication helped our musicians hit the world stage. We had all the talent. Imagine we had all this talent all this while, playing good music, mm -hmm. but you know, digital skills were in there and they couldn't even spread the joy. Right. With the coming of the internet, you have people who make music here, mm -hmm. put it on the internet. They are able to be appreciated across the global. world. And the next thing, in the, if you go all across Africa now, you listen to African, Nigerian music, almost everywhere. How is that happening? To Benga's point, telecommunications, in terms of technologies that have actually created value without impacting the world significantly, you can actually easily, one of the easiest examples is telecoms. We know what setting other industries. There are industries where their products come with a warning, a health warning, and people still sell it. You haven't stopped using them. Absolutely. Their products, vehicles, we know what's happening with fossil fuels and climate change and generators and co. There are things that have been classified as actually dangerous. We are using them. Conspiracy theories are actually, is actually a paradox because it's the same internet that you complain about that you're using to concord the mm. uh, conspiracy theory. As a media practitioner, you know about media ethics, you know about media law. There are things you can't say on air because you know the repercussion, because mm -hmm. there are laws guiding you. With social media, everybody became a publishing house. Absolutely. So <laughs> you can wake up. So it's a new cultural change. So somebody who has always been crazy can put his crazy ideas out there. I'm sure you have crazy Everybody's friends. Everybody's going live. People you know, think I was just even saying with um, Sansi that imagine the lockdown. I mean, there is hardly every minute that you go on Instagram. This is going live with this. This is yes. Everybody has become a TV host or a, 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 Thank you. a journalist so or you whatever. don't need to put, you know, so you have to put together a studio. Somebody with, every day you see somebody, oh, I want to address the world with yes. his camera and all that. And he's addressing the They're world. They're addressing the world. Mm -hmm. And it's also cultural because today celebrities, 
and celebrity endorsement is a huge marketing tool. So if I've got 2 million followers on Instagram, I suddenly become an authority. Even though I, don't, I didn't pass high school science, I can come out and have an opinion hmm. on science. And massive followership. Now, there is a body called ICNIP. ICNIP is International Commission for ICNI, Non-Ionizing Radiation Protection. You are not the first to think it that radiation may be causing a problem. There's a whole bunch of scientists, PhDs to the power 10, who have been studying this thing for years. They issue guidelines every year about radiation levels. The person who is saying the 5G is bad doesn't even know what the level of radiation is, what it should be, what affects the body, what doesn't affect the body, how long should you be exposed before, which part, there are tissue parts. There are guidelines for the head, for the torso, for the... And because Every we, we see videos about don't sleep with your phone close to you. Blah, blah, blah. Although Stay away from should, the mic. So yeah. what Although saying? with even with um, with Benga, I mean, true to him, I mean we've heard cases about uh, what's it called microwave causing cancer and all of that. But we have loads of messages. Oh dear. Okay. Please, I'm begging you, don't call the show. <laughs> Just send a message or WhatsApp because <laughs> somebody has been trying to call. Somebody says, "Good evening, everyone. I like watching your show. Please, I want to ask this question." Does the, world, um, does the world have 5G, or maybe did the world have 5G in 1917 when the world had the first pandemic called Spanish flu? Indeed. Did the world have 5G when Africa had Ebola? Please, um, we should stop deceiving ourselves. That's um, somebody's comment. And Okay, then someone says, please, Nigeria does not need 5G network for now. I would, I would like for people to send their, uh, what's it called, their, their names when they're when they sending these messages. And somebody is asking, <laughs> okay, I think we'll continue. Let's, so, we'll, we'll okay, continue. right, so right now, uh, do you want me? No, uh, okay. there's something about the coronavirus that I just wanted to clarify. Yeah. And okay. I think the, one of your test messages about the Spanish flu brought it right up. There are people who are called epidemiologists who study pandemics as a living. They wake up every day and they that's look all for, they, that's yeah. all they do. They have been, they know viruses. They are virologists, people who study, they become professors of viruses. You won't hear a professor of virology tell you that a virus came out of uh, radiation. some uh, radiation. Viruses is biology. It is an organism. It has its own DNA signature. It's unique. We have, there are several viruses. SARS, the severe acute respiratory syndrome, mm -hmm. is a virus. HIV is a virus. Viruses have no cure. HIV causes a disease called AIDS. This new virus, this novel coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2, causes the COVID-19 disease. Now, what happens is that you have to develop a test for it. For you to develop a test, you need to know the DNA signature of that virus, which means it's a unique organism. These type of things have been found in birds before. I'm sure you've heard about avian flu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Avian flu and this particular flu, they are called zoonotic viruses, viruses that affects mainly animals, but can be transferred to humans, humans if you are in that environment. Avian flu is one of such. Yeah. If, if there's an avian flu outbreak, you see people in hazmat suits also go and kill all the birds. So there is a biology behind this vi virus. They know, that's why they can type it, that's why they can create a test for it. When you say they tested for it, they didn't take you to a telecom lab. There is a way to test for it. Well, antibodies. It is a protocol. So, okay. I rolling. think we have. Do we have um, Olayinka Oduwale? Sorry, she's joined us via Skype. I just want to have um, two cents from her. Um, Olayinka Oduwale, are you there? Hello. I can hear you. Okay. Um, I can hear you. Okay. Have you been listening to our conversation on the five G network? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, your network is quite um, shaky. <laughs> so we would we'll have, we'll have to end the call. We're so sorry. We'll probably call you some other time. Okay. 
Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, now we can really hear her. To hear her yeah. input on this. So you see what just happened, right? You know, I knew you were you, going to milk no, that. Are you for the viewers, on. they need to understand, understand yes. that this, for example, that's a 3G type of experience. No, you know what? So we the packets are breaking up. But if it was a 5G network, you can actually bring a hologram into it, this room. Studio. No, you know what? So we understand that 5G is relevant. Mm. We understand it is an upgrade in a technology-driven world. We completely understand it. But what we are looking at right now is how does it affect us? Obviously, we have established that um, um, it's not linked to COVID-19. So let's move on to artificial intelligence. Let me right? answer so, that with light. I told you that in the electron, I haven't asked my question yet. <laughs> no, you said uh, the health, you know, you're concerned about the okay. health thing. You, this, is not, this is light in your studio now. Yeah. It's not the sunlight, mm -hmm. okay? But it has the same properties as light. Some are brighter, some have different colors, but it's light. For as long as it's light, it has the same properties. It mm -hmm. cannot penetrate your skin. It can only cast a shadow. If you close your eyes, have you ever seen light so bright that you close your eyes it and it still through. comes through into your eye? It doesn't happen that way. That is the way you need to understand radio waves. Radio waves are below light in terms of intensity. So... It is physics. If you have a child in secondary school, ask him, he will show you, it's there. I checked it in my son's physics net textbook. It is not a new thing. The way it's being used, I mean, you have a new Clegg light today, they have many more bulbs, it is still light. 5G is still a radio wave. I That's understand all. you because I studied physics in okay. school. All Thank right, so you. 5G is a problem. Please tell those people that do not <laughs> that we do not need it in Nigeria. And somebody is saying that um, um, I think he is from Kampala. He says, please, please, Nigeria does not need 5G. <laughs> so like it is everywhere. People are just saying so. People are not ready to listen yeah. to the explanations to how you have broken it down for us here. So why do we have that conspiracy? Why? It is, fear. is it that is it that some people are afraid that if this 5G eventually works? I heard some conspiracy theory that some some people will become world power in terms mm -hmm. of the financial yeah. power yeah. if this comes to life. So they are trying so hard to you know bring a lot of conspiracies around it. Why? Why do we have that? It's a combination of ignorance. If you don't know anything, okay. you will be afraid of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you then there's also fear. We are living in the, we're all in lockdown. Nobody has seen this before. Businessmen didn't see it coming. The prophets didn't see it coming. The governments didn't see it coming. Nobody saw it coming. So definitely people are scared and confused. Even the people who feel who are confident, um, I mean, they are confused. Businesses, trillions of dollars are wiped out from uh, from everywhere, you know, Absolutely. all the stock exchanges, everybody. How would you believe that New York, Los Angeles Airport, Lagos Airport, Abuja shut Airport down. will be shut down? Airpiece will not be flying, you know. LA will be shut down. Shipping lines shut down. So that is creating a huge fear. People are afraid. They are complaining about food also. It's just that, of course, this is more mm, uh, maybe people. People are complaining about food. You talked about yams now. Yeah. People are complaining about security. Absolutely. People are complaining about all kinds of things. It is a normal human reaction. The 5G, is, there's no conspiracy against 5G. There has been a conspiracy theory from day one that wireless communication was bad. There are people who have always believed it. When GSM, I, I mean, we, was, we started GSM in this country. If you, in case you don't recall, people said that it was going to cause cancer, it was going to cause sterility. Okay, so it did. To linking to that, can engineer Wale throw light on what happened in the places where 5G has been activated? That's from Ch Tunji okay. Um, Agbaje. Okay, fine. Um, 5G is Wuhan. in Korea. Mm -hmm. this in, in, in Wuhan is just one city. Okay. It's in Shanghai. It's in about 30 cities. It's in uh, South Korea. South Korea actually had 5G before China. Mm. Okay. Um, 
if you if he's trying to say correlations, you know, I can say where five G has been deployed in um, in Africa, for example, is only rain. Rain deployed in South Africa, limited um, coverage. Because you have to remember that there's a business case behind 5G. 5G is not cheap. Nobody, if 5, 5G is, as a technology is available, but the businesses that are going to roll it out have to deal with a lot of regulatory bottlenecks. They have to do with investment decisions. They have to make their money back. Is it owned by a company? 5G is not owned by a company. That's the other thing. Okay. 5G, like I said, is is just a communication system. Okay. It's just like 4G. It's not owned by a person. Okay. It is like it's not owned by a person. Hmm. It's a system of. It's just like when you have a periodic table, you discover that this new element is chlorine. Chlorine is not. Is a radio. If you are using a radio wave, radio waves have been around since the time. universe started. Yeah. It doesn't mm. belong so to a person. Somebody just discovers. Yeah, so it's a business case. You have to find a use for 5G. So for example, you have a studio now. You want to turn ways to uh, the cutting edge show where people can be in the studio sitting Hologram. down as if they're here, but they're actually not here. Then you need 5G. Okay. okay. Do you understand? So, Mr. You know Cake, are you here? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to say? Yes, please. I do. Um, yes, 5G is looking good. And there are actually rumors that the world is looking at, like, bringing up 6G at a very fast pace. I read that um, during one of my mm, research. Yeah. So the question is, on the long There's run... No question, oh, no. <laughs> Just say the comment. Oh, dear. Well, um, I think maybe it's a, it's a yes or no kind of thing. Okay. Are we looking at a place where eventually we're getting to a battle between man and machine domination because you're going to see a lot of artificial intelligence and robotics uh, uh, robotics playing out are we going to get to that domination level where man begins to fight against his own creation yes or I, no i love your <laughs> imagination you know i'm a creative <laughs> is it, is it, it yes is or no no okay all right never. i think we'll leave it there never you've really been really i think never. um i'm a two-year-old right now and i've never. learned a lot thank you so much for <laughs> and thanks to all our guests um uh, we we'll, we'll apologize that we couldn't um, hear Yinka. I was really looking yeah. forward to hearing um, her research. Now, you can watch a repeat broadcast on Mondays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 3 p.m. It's been a very, very insightful conversation. <laughs> now, please keep all the conversations going on all our social media platforms as we continue to hear what you're saying. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. 5G will, will have an impact similar to the introduction of electricity or, or the car affecting the entire economics and benefiting the entire society. So thank you so much, <laughs> Mr. Wale. I think we'll have to do a part two because I want to <laughs> learn the business of 5G. In fact, Maybe, that, that so that people can now start tapping into the opportunities that will be available for 5G. Nigeria All right. should not miss 5G. Absolutely. They should not miss it. Absolutely. All right, so enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs>